going to start with Jerry at the front here. Graham, you had plenty of possession and, and shots on target. Do you feel you got, could have got more out of that game? Well, if you look at the stats of the game, apart from the most important stat, there's a lot there that that says we did a lot well. But ultimately, we when when we've um, the two boxes is the most important area, and that's where we've come come short. Um, first half, I thought we had a couple of opportunities. We won it back high and um, and created a one v one situation. I think pretty 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 early in the game, and some of the chances to to to, to attack. Um, but obviously the goals are a blow for us because um, you know we need to do better than that in that situation. And then the, you know of course it's 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 difficult. Then you one nil down at home, but I thought the team gave everything. I thought the team the intention of the team was there. You can tell by the amount of times we got in their box, the shots we had. Um, there's a there was a positive intent, but um, the score lines painful for us. Okay, young man there. Well, this, this, the formation has been the same for the last few weeks. Um, uh, it, it's, not, it's not for me to talk through the, the story of the season now. Um, we, we came in, in uh, if I'm going to summarise, we came in in September. There's a lot of games, um, a lot of injuries. It's difficult to, to, to have the consistency that you want because you're playing a lot of matches. Um, what we need to do is, is uh, today's a bit of a setback, of course it is. Um, because we're disappointed to lose, and at home we, we, we can feel the pain of the supporters. So we have to um, dust ourselves down and go again for Tuesday. Matt Law. Great on. The momentum and the atmosphere around the club before the international break had, had changed for the better. But obviously, the result today and the reaction was quite fierce around the press box from the fans. Are, are you worried that you've, you've kind of quickly gone back to square one in terms of, of that? Well, I understand when you lose at home that the, um, the emotion of the game is such that people are going to be disappointed and frustrated and, and angry. You know, where we are in the league table, no one's happy with. So, uh, whatever criticism comes, I, I have to accept. And can I just ask you about a couple of decisions? You went with sort of two full backs in the back three, and, and one of them was at fault for Watkins' goal, and then you didn't bring Mason Mount on. Can I ask why on both of those? Well, we wanted to attack. We wanted to use Mark and Reese as two laterals. We thought that's where the space would be, and they can construct attacks well. Um, I thought we we got we got into some good opportunities from an attacking perspective. We won the ball back uh, high as well and created opportunities. Uh, I think we had a one v one with Michel a couple of times. Um, but yeah, the, 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 it's an error for the first goal, and whenever there's an error, there's always something that you can do better. Um, with Mason, I, I just felt that we were there. We were there in the game. We made some attacking subs. Wanted to see how it all landed. Mason's coming back. He's only had a couple of days training. Tom Hopkinson. Uh, Graham, a quick turnaround now between the Liverpool game after a result like this is, is that important? Is it better to get straight back into the, into the game, or would you have rather have a week to work on things? Well, we've got no time to feel sorry for ourselves. We have to respond and we have to prepare for another big game. Simple as that. Um, yeah. Um, I have no thoughts other than that. It's just to, just to prepare for the match and get ready for it. Neil Barnett. Uh, start off with the normal. Uh, were they fit? Mendy, Albaniang, Zakaria, Ziyech and uh, Fafan, David Fafan? Yeah, all but Mendy were fit. Okay, and then on the game itself, the second goal was the tenth goal conceded this season from the corner. Um, I think there may be a club in Germany interested in Chelsea's uh, set piece coach, as he's constantly uh, described. Um, what's going wrong at corners? Well, I mean, it's it's a. Uh it's uh, that, that the one today is a, is a I think a strike from the edge of the box. Which, if you look at the xG of the goal, it's probably not that big a chance. Uh, it's a great strike. Second phase, edge of the box. These things can sometimes can happen. I think generally we've made some improvements from the from the turn of the year, but clearly we need to improve. There's a lot of things we have to improve because you have to look at the league table to see that. Okay, Liam, to me. Hi, Greg. Behind there. Hi. Um, how worried are you about the defending in general? Because it feels like you're giving us quite high quality chances in the last few games. Obviously, Watkins had a big one before he scored. 
yeah, that's the thing that we need to look at, I think, um, because even though uh, we had some opportunities ourselves and attacked well ourselves, we gave up too many too many opportunities I think I think the one with 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 Watkins in particular is the the, the one that sticks to mind apart from that there wasn't too much but at the same time they're two bigger chances for us and we need to do better there and that's on me and I have to take that responsibility okay last two and before we do the Mondays gentlemen the green jacket and then Andy Dillon to finish Ray, I have a question for you what would you give to have a striker like Rugba or Diego Costa in the line what would you give for it <laughs> Well, there's nothing for me to say. I've got the players I have. Um, they gave everything today. As much as we're all disappointed with the result, they they did. The, the intent of the team was there. They were clear. The attack was there. But um, the scoreline is painful for us. So there's nothing. There's nothing too much I can say that sounds positive. Okay, Andy Dillon, last one. Hi, Graham. Andy. Go back to the theme about the, the, the fans and the the atmosphere here. Do you think the negativity is is transmitting during the game to the players? Do you think it's affecting them? Well, I mean, they're, f they're professional footballers. They, they play for Chelsea. They understand the demands. They understand what it is when we are where we are. They, they're, they're not stupid. They, they accept the responsibility. They're honest. They want to do better. Um, we're, we're there fighting for each other and fighting together. So um, there's no complaints from the in terms of how the supporters re respond. And just with the, with the first goal, it seems to be a kind of a little bit of debate about which player maybe a, a fourth? Because obviously it looks obvious it was Kudelbelli, but maybe there was a mix-up between him and Kudelbelli. Should there have been a call? Or what is it? Is it a communication problem between the two of them, or what? Yeah, it was, again, it's football. It's one action. It, it can happen. Um, but yeah, there's a bit of a mis miscommunication, I think. And um, like I said, um, that's something for for me to take responsibility for, me to look at and and, and do better with. Okay, we'll leave it there. Quick Mondays on the Thank side you. on the left hand side. So do you think Graham Poss is making life unnecessarily hard for, for Chelsea at the minute with that team selection? I think he's not quite sure on the settle on on the on the back line, to be honest with you, as we've seen this season, it's changed um numerous times. So we said before the game, we think Reese James um is very good in an attacking sense. Mm. You know, there's not much that he cannot do and he's very he's a threatening attacking sense. So it was it was a strange uh, decision and I think on Ben, I think he's at Ben Chilwell. He's been the uh, attacking threat for Chelsea. There's so much space on that left hand side and he yeah. goes forward brilliantly. To add to his frustrations, Ben Chilwell had a goal disallowed just before half time, but Mikhailo Mudrik had a couple of decent chances, Gary. He did, yeah, he did. And um, it looked a little bit of lacking confidence, didn't it? I mean, this first one here, in hindsight, they tried to build up from the back and could he have, 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 have slid it across the box to Kai Havertz? Obviously, you can see his frustration. I think that might have been the better option for him. Um, he, he nicks in front very well. Just pick his head up and roll it across. I think it's an easy tap in. But this was surprising, this effort here. He took it so early. This was very surprising, yeah. I mean, he's got blistering pace and I, I don't know for the life of me. I mean, I'm no, I'm no attacker, but yeah. he took it very, very early and in commentary, he said he didn't get out of his feet, which I think ultimately was the reason why he scuffed that shot. Yeah.